And welcome back to Judgment. Uh, while we're waiting for Sugiura to get in touch with us, uh, we can find Kaito over here, like, right in front of Tender. Of course. Hmm? Hey! Chuck. No, I like laughing at hobos in the street. What do you think? <laughs> You know, save that murderer so it could murder somebody. Look, man, that was three years ago. <laughs> it's never too late to remind you. So, yeah, Adachi it's here is a, uh, he's a realtor. I'm just going to say it's a bad business card because of the empty space in the bottom left. Yeah, there's just so <laughs> much empty space on that card. Really should have, like, the bottom left should have been the color, like, just a fill of the color of the lines. Hmm. That way, like, because you, like, you're going to have your finger on it anyways, so you, like, kind of block it out. But in a way, you're also signifying, like, you can hold here. It's, you know. I never thought of it that way. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, I uh, did some art design stuff back in the day. <laughs> So yeah, um, Adachi is, uh, an old elementary school friend of Kaito's. And... Where did you go so wrong, Kaito? <laughs> <laughs> well, one day, old man Matsugane saw some potential in me, so he took me in. Kaito's making the same expression I make when I, like, accidentally swallow a bug or something. <laughs> Why? I, Kaito. What about make, swallowing a bug makes you put on the, the weird, kind of creepy smile? Because <laughs> like, I'm trying I have to, to like, know now. Because I'm dying and choking and trying to, like, cough it out, but also not make a scene. <laughs> Well, I suppose that'll, uh, that'll do it. Like, I'm not saying you, you know, ate a house fly or anything. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> you breathe in a fruit fly or something. It's really annoying and... <laughs> hmm? <laughs> but you guys do spend more time here than at work, so... I figured I'd find you here. Yo. Well, if there's anything I've learned from 30, 40 years ago. Hmm. Can confirm. I heard this is this guy named Kiryu. Yep. He's, he's a legend in the, uh, the real estate uh, circles. Yeah, he'll protect you. Although he's been out of the game for like 30 years, so I don't know if uh, we'll be able to find yep. him. Well, not in the protection business. Just the real estate. Kaito! Aibo! Fist bump, fist bump, fist bump, fist bump, fist bump, fist bump! Yeah! <laughs> now you gotta animate like a tiny explosion that happens. Ah oh, man. Kaboom. <laughs> <laughs> Yagami's like, they didn't do the finger thing. <laughs> I wish I could know that feeling someday. <laughs> I should have it in my case file. And then he just like opens a desk from his coat. <laughs> oh yeah, um... And then he picks up dirty cloth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking this from the bartender, so I'll see if you can clean your damn bar now. <laughs> you son of a bitch. So, uh, 
I, I, this is one of those times in the game where you actually do need to look at your evidence to figure out where you're going. <laughs> this would bug the shit out of me, Chaos. Having to actually look it up? Oh man, no, seeing all the alerts from shit you did 40 episodes ago. Oh. <laughs> it would drive me nuts. Yeah, that, that kind of, uh, kind of gets on my, uh, my, uh yeah, it bugs me too. Must we? Guys, please. Bot is right here. <laughs> I'm trying to help a friend. Kaboom. Even though he won't help me. Thanks, Kaito. <laughs> I knew you had it covered, buddy. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Anyways, I teleported over here now. <laughs> Man, that ray of sunshine really does a number on people. Hmm? Be careful when you're running in between shaded and lit areas. As long as you have proper uh, UV protection, you'll be okay. Or your Bram Sylvania. So I like how Yagami said that this guy had like a had like a loud shirt. Unless I completely misread that. Because I just see two dudes in business suits. Talk. I, I think those guys were talking about Kaito. Yeah, yeah. After I said it, I was like, well, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kaito must have scared those guys with the power of his shirt, too. <laughs> it's impossible to stay out of trouble when it keeps finding me. And then he smiles at the camera. Kaito! As your bodyguard, I'm not allowed to drink on duty. Also, we just had a beer like 20 minutes ago. Look, you can't prove that because none of them have a timepiece. If only Shit. they had a watch. Mm -hmm. God I got like a dozen it. watches in my pocket. No, it'll like never a... do. <laughs> So, I'm not 100% sure, um, why they worded it like that, but if you want the, to, to actually get the intel on, uh, Adachi, you need to go talk to that, uh, that loan shark that Yagami's friends with, or, oh, you know, made yeah. friends with. He's got the, uh, the up and up on shady hey. real estate I, types. I feel like you shouldn't be doing that shit to a loan shark, buddy. Nani? Look, he knows I could kick his ass. <laughs> I'm his muscle, so I think I can, uh... <laughs> That's can right. Do this. Shit, it's been so long. Huh? <laughs> so, so, yeah, uh... Adachi's apparently kind of a piece of shit. You could have seen that coming. I mean, considering the guy was like, oh, yeah, I kept getting in trouble in school and all that. It only makes sense. All right, let's uh, let's go tell Kaito the bad news, I guess. Hey Kaito, your friend's a piece of shit. Talk. <laughs> but enough about the guys from uh, the Matsugane joint. Ouch. <laughs> well, not Steve Bloom. He's cool. <laughs> That's right. Nope. Yo. Hmm. Uh. 
Well, would you rather I tell you over the phone in front of him? Just looking out for you, buddy. That's how we should have wrote it, but... Kaito's just angry because he's trying to. We're trying to foil his new racket that he's helping out with. <laughs> At some point, I got into uh, or the the Kahin gang stuff. started bugging me again, and uh, I noticed that Honda was over at this this uh, intersection here. So we're gonna show off something fun. So, Please let it be him getting hit by an 18-wheeler. Please let it be him getting hit by an 18-wheeler. Nope. Please let it be... Damn it! So, uh, if you, uh, if you grab him and you can do the EX move over here, you may recognize this one. Of course. Does it auto-win the match? The fight? Bye, Honda! <laughs> okay, that just happened. It does. So, please tell me there's an achievement for this. Unfortunately, no. What? What's the... So dumb. I wish there were. This is it where they really, really dropped the ball. Because I would have fought for that one. I didn't know. <laughs> there, there should have been. Even if it was just doing it for the first time, that that would I still would have accepted that one. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm surprised you don't even get one for doing it the first time, to be honest. <laughs> anyway, let's go eavesdrop on Adachi. As you do. But he will recognize us if, you know, we just go as is. Yeah, that's why we need to enter as Bram Sylvania. I'm glad you've caught on. <laughs> Look, I just know how predictable you are. <laughs> He'll never find us now. I want to feast on your ramen. Play. Play. Give me your bloodiest steak. <laughs> <laughs> I like how Yagami's got this face of like fool them. <laughs> they, they'll <laughs> never know. I know the the Bram Sylvania costume is the best one just because of moments like this. <laughs> I'm so glad they let they let Yagami keep it. <laughs> and if I didn't already have an idea of what I wanted for a video thumbnail, this would have been it. <laughs> I don't like the use of thirsty boys. I don't either, really. Like, I don't, like, 100% understand it either. I will admit to that, but, like, there's just something about it I just don't really like in the first place. I, I love that look. It's just like, oops, you caught me with my hand in the cookie jar again. What you gonna do about it? <laughs> I can explain. 
is how you know someone's guilty. (laughs) (sighs) If only Bram Sylvania did something smart, like take out his phone and record the conversation that was happening literally right behind him. Right? Like, that that would have just been, uh... That would have resolved this... Well, I don't know if it would totally have resolved this, but, uh... It would have been, you know, good evidence against Adachi. Mm. Hi, boy! Yeah. Huh? Chuck. Hmm? Kaito! Yeah. See, Kaito's playing stupid because he knows that Adachi's been bad this whole time and he's trying to take him down from the inside. I mean, there there is yeah. something to be said about that, doing it that way, but, uh... Maybe let's do it before someone gets hurt. <laughs> Some, someone who, uh, isn't a piece of shit, I mean. Shouldn't it be we're done talking if we're gonna start a fight? Yeah, uh, probably. Uh, uh. Anyway, yeah, we're fighting Kaito now, and Adachi's just over there watching. <laughs> As you do. Yeah, so this is. I think I believe this is the only time you'll really ever, ever fight Kaito, and you know. Face off against the brawler style. Uh, shouldn't be too hard. Really, I'm just dragging this out to. Uh, I don't really know why I was dragging it out, honestly. <laughs> I just feel that's the way you play. I've legit never seen that one before. I don't even know how I did that. (laughs) Can't believe you exploded your friend's heart. And then I tiger dropped him. (laughs) As you do. And then that guy just walked all over Kaito. Huh? Why is Yakami so thick? And not like whatever. <laughs> I just wanted to love you! (sighs) 
This is where the, uh, the uh, hypothetical audio recording would have come in handy. Yeah. I mean, either before or after, whatever, but, like, man. So weird. I mean, I mean, the fight was fine. Like, you know, it, it, it'll it show Kaito that we mean business and that we can actually kick his ass now. Mm-hmm. Huh? Oh yeah, Kaito, Kaito knew that Adachi was a piece of shit, but he wanted to confirm it for himself first. Of course. So, does that mean if you lose, like, you still come to this conclusion? It's just the text is a little different? I'm not actually sure. Hmm. I should go find that out, actually. I, I assume no, but eh, that that's a question for another day, I suppose. <laughs> Fat. I'm gonna start saying that to everybody I know. <laughs> Jabo, you're supposed to do the dishes. Fat. <laughs> <laughs> if only you knew the true under dark side of my powers. <laughs> <laughs> not only did I not do the dishes, but I filled the, the detergent with salt. <laughs> oh no! Ah. Oh my god, the guy's picking his nose with the knife. Stop, you'll hurt yourself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I need someone to take this guy with the knife. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he broke his jaw. He dislocated his own job. <laughs> It'll be fine. <laughs> okay, so uh, now we get to fight the Dachi in his game. <laughs> Why would you ever fold me that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, we're gonna show two people and they won't move. <laughs> Add knuckle cranking sounds. <laughs> they need to know we mean business. <laughs> I'm glad the game just uh, instantly gave me the uh, the two co-op actions with uh, Kaito against Adachi. <laughs> I'm really disappointed like, this doesn't end the fight outright. Right. Like, take out the leader, the, the, the goons should just flee. I feel, I feel like, not even just like if you defeat the leader, if you really wanted your game to make you feel powerful, if you did everything you could to avoid the minions and beat the shit out of the boss first, and only defeated him, it should immediately kill all his, his part. Well, maybe not, and kill's not the right word, but in game terms, like, they should all just be eliminated. Yeah, that would be really cool, actually. Because it's like, I mean, oh my god, he beat the boss and he like he didn't touch anybody else. That would be pretty okay. cool. I I feel like that would be worthy of a, an achievement. Uh, Guys, I'm, you can hire me whenever. <laughs> Ask Chaos for my deets. <laughs> or find me on Twitter or whatever the fuck, I don't know. Hmm? Duck. Ha ha ha. Remember that time you almost blew my cover and then I almost got knifed by that guy who broke his jaw? <laughs> but we didn't get to see it? Oh my god, Yagami, you suck. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> <laughs> and then he does the shock of raw movement. 
Shaka Pride, dude. Gotta admit, though, for how lame it would have been, it's pretty disappointing that Kaito didn't actually fist bump him. I know. I I really think he should have. That's like, Kaito's lost all my respect now. 